How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be making a canteen out of some leather. Start off with tools. You'll need a hammer, something to cut on, your pattern, obviously your leather. You'll need corn. I'll show that later. You need a beveler your burnisher, your little punch for the holes when sewing your awl, something to sand the edges with. I used a chopstick instead of that piece of wood. You'll need a punch, scissors, some sinew or some thread to sew with, some wax, a lighter, and your sewing needles. You'll also want to use a sewing horse. This is one I made. So to start off with, we're gonna to have to trace our canteen pattern onto the leather. I'm just using an awl to mark it. These pieces of leather I already cut roughly to size, that way it can fit on the table a little bit better. If this is your first time watching and you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Then I'm just using a pair of scissors to cut this. Traditionally or normally you would use like a razor blade, an exacto knife, something like that to cut leather. Um, but I had some really good scissors and for this project I didn't care too much about using a razor blade because it was basically a circle I was cutting out and I found that these scissors worked a lot better. At least for me they did. Just punching the holes that I'm going to use to sew. I just went around the whole thing and punched them just to make it easier when hand sewing. Just 
just make sure when punching them you actually get through both layers of the leather. I also did go back with the awl and just push through to make sure it got all the way through. Right now I'm just sewing the little areas that are by the holes that aren't part of the uh, inside seam for this canteen. I'm just getting those sewn on both sides so that I can it holds it together so I can actually sew the full inside seam of the canteen a lot easier without it moving. I'm just doing a saddle stitch for this. So far, this is actually one of my favorite leather projects out of all the ones I've done. And it's just kind of something cool to say that you made a canteen out of leather versus anything else that someone would make a canteen out of. Right now I'm pointing to the portion that I was talking about the seams. Now we're going to be sewing the main seam. I'll be using a stitching pony. I just made this one from a bunch of scraps I had laying around. Eventually I want to make a sewing horse or even get a sewing machine in general. And if that'd be something you guys would want to see a video on how to make, once I do make a better version of this, let me know down in the comments below. Again, I'm just doing a saddle stitch for this. Really easy stitch to do and perform. Now I'm just finishing up sewing it. Once I get it sewn all the way up, I'm gonna back stitch probably two or three times, really to lock in the sewing and stitching of this.
as you can see, I got really lucky and had just enough sinew or string to complete the whole stitching. Then I'm burning it, and then I'm just flattening it after it melts a bit. Now I'm just punching the holes where you can have something attached to this so you can put it around your shoulder or even probably make something to attach it to your belt. Now I'm just beveling the edges. This wasn't 100% needed, but I fear I might as well do it. putting it in some warm water. We're gonna wet form it. That's what we needed the corn for. So we're gonna get some water in there, get nice and just soaked in water. And then we're gonna put a bunch of the corn inside of it to help wet form it to actually look more like a canteen when there's nothing in there. I just used popcorn. You could probably use pea gravel. I probably wouldn't use sand because I feel like that'd be too small and kind of get more stuck in there than anything. So you want something with enough size where you can put it in there and still take it out of there. Just use that little chopstick to push in the corn, really pack it in there and get that nice kind of more bald shape for the canteen. Then we're gonna let it dry for 24 hours, if not longer. You just basically want it to be no water in there, no more moisture when it dries. I just use my little awl to put in the little spout of it to form it a little bit more round in that area for when I get a cork, or if I turn something on the lathe for the little cork itself. So now it's the next day and I'm just dumping the corn out. You can see it's keeping its shape even though I, all the corn's coming out. That's because it was wet formed. And there's a lot of other stuff you can do with wet forming. I'm just using the chopstick just to scrape out any of the pieces of corn if there's any in there. I don't think there was when I did that. But you can see that it was still formed. Now that's a crock pot full of melted wax. So we're gonna slowly start pouring it in there, basically saturating this leather with wax. Uh, just be careful when doing this because you can easily burn yourself. Normally you'd use beeswax. All I had was food grade paraffin wax. Now I think I'm just filling it all the way up. You want it to eventually stop leaking because you can see it's dripping on the bottom a little bit. I'm filling it all the way up to the top just to get the whole inside coated really well. 
and then I'll eventually just pour a little bit in and swish it around the seams so then there gets a nice coat on the seams. So just dip it straight in to cover the full outside as well, which then I'll use that hair dryer to heat it up a little bit to get the wax inside the leather instead of it just hardening on the outside. heat gun probably would make this easier than a hair dryer, but all I had on hand was a hair dryer at the time. You're just getting the leather nice and warm so it soaks in the wax a little bit better. And this is what's waterproofing it so you can actually fill it with a liquid. At this point, I'm just kind of doing a quick burnish on the whole outside while it's still warm and with the wax and that. Next, I'm just taking a pair of jean material cotton and just wiping off any excess wax on the outside so it doesn't have that real waxy coating on it. It's more soaked into the leather. And it's still really warm right now, so it's still flexible. That stuff can still get wiped off. I'm also wiping the um, sewed seam just to make sure all that wax is in there, wiped off. Just kind of taking that uh, chopstick, pushing it through the holes I made, kind of doing it, not even burnishing it, but just making sure the hole is the right size. Now I'm pouring a little bit more in just to make sure that seam on the inside is thoroughly coated with wax because you can see it's dripping a little bit. So I'm slowly letting it cool at the bottom before rotating and spinning it to coat the full seam on the inside. Kind of waited until it stopped dripping. I just poured some out one way, then I rotated and poured the rest out the other way just to really coat that inner seam where the leather was sewn together. basically just let it harden up and it's complete. If you guys like this video and content like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.